What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to grab rows, points, and subsets for your data frames with pandas. Now, Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at grabbing rows, points, and subsets. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships on my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to grab rows, points in our rows and columns, and different subsets of our rows and columns. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second. So, head over here, I've got this file. I'm calling it grab row point subset. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this panda series. So, check that out if you haven't so far. So, Starting out, as always, we're just importing pandas and NumPy, and I'm pulling in our dog data that we've been working on in the last few videos. You see, I've got it right here. So let's say we want to grab a row. Very simple. There's a couple of different ways you could do it, and I'll show you both here. And the first one is just to grab the location. So let's call my underscore df, the name of our data frame, dot loc. And then we use square brackets and then just pass in the name of the row. So our row names here are numbers. Sometimes they're going to be words, sometimes they're going to be numbers. If they're words, you just use this and put, you know, Ted. If your row header is Ted, you would type in Ted, right? We have numbers. So let's say I want this guy right here. I would just pass in two, shift enter to run this. And you can see Belg Malinois. I don't know what that is. Brendel color. I don't know what color that is. The name is Ike. And the zip code is 5238. So very easy. So that's the location method. Now we can also use the I location method. And that stands for index. Now this is going to look very similar to what we just did because our num because our rows are numbered. But pretend your rows had names, right? If instead of this being number two, it was Ted, right? You would use the location method to call Ted, but you could also use the index number of that row. Just like Python lists, these rows start at zero. In our case, they actually start at zero. But if these were, you know, named with words. The first one would be zero, the second one would be one, and so on. So to do that, very similar, we just call my underscore df dot i lock, stands for index location. And again, just pass in, say we want this, the third one, that would be zero, one, two, three. So that would be mixed, black, brown, and arrow. And we see mixed, black, brown, and arrow. Very cool, very easy. So that's how to grab specific rows. What if you want to just grab a specific point? Right, so let's say we want to grab Dakota, just Dakota. We want that dog name. How could we do that? Well, same thing. We use the location function. So my underscore df dot location. And here we just pass in the row and the column. So you use quotation marks if your headers are words. Otherwise, you just use numbers. Ours are numbers. So let's see. We want Dakota. That's the first row. So we would pop a one in there. And then what column do we want? We want dog name. Let me just copy that. And you can use single quotes or double quotes. I'll use double here. And boom, we see Dakota. Very cool. So that's how to grab specific points. What if you want to grab several different points from several different rows? Well, we can create a subset for that. So same thing as this, we just pass in more than one thing. So let's go my underscore df dot loc and square brackets. Now let's say we want two things from two rows, we would do one comma two, right? So in this first one, we put our rows. So let's say we want one and three, right? So we would just type in one comma three. Now what columns do we want? Let's say we want the dog name and the breed. Now the order you put these is important. So I'm going to put dog name first and show you the difference here. So we've got dog name. And let's say we want breed copy that guy. Boom, here we go. And you see we have Dakota and Arrow for the dog name, German Shepherd and Mixed for the breed. Now notice dog name is first, breed is second. That's because we put dog name first here and breed second here. If we look at our actual data, breed is listed first, dog name is listed second. So the order you put them here designates the order they'll show up here. It's not the actual order they're in in your data frame, it's however you designate it. So we can have more than one thing. We can put the fourth guy here. And here we get Oakley. Or if we want to take this out and we want a different column, we could say, hey, let's add the color. We could just pop that in here. There we go. Now we have the color. 
whatever you want. Really simple, easy ways to grab a subset of your data frame and throw it up on the screen. So very easy to grab rows, points, and subsets in your data frame. Use the loc and the iloc function, and that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Konami.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Doing over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Kodabi.com, and I'll see you in the next video.